Okay. And welcome into episode 42 of the Abits and Beyond, take two, for <laughs> those that didn't see or know that we had a little technical issue uh, starting this one, but uh, welcome into episode 42. My name is Todd Emanuele, and I have a very special guest joining me today. I've been excited for this one, Avit super fan, Liz Gregory is here. Liz, thank you so much for coming on with me today. Thank you. And uh, everyone calls you Tabasco. Why or Tabasco? Why is that? I just gave it away. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, my my maiden name is Tabasco. Yeah. And there were several Avit fans who on Facebook thought it read Tabasco. I, so, I see I, that. I, you know, I could they see call that me worse things. <laughs> yeah. Right. You could. Yeah. Uh, oh well, yeah. It was very very easy. That that's cool. So <laughs> I've seen like the picture that we're using to promote this episode. You're wearing a shirt for your 100th episode or 100th episode for your 100th show uh, that said Tabasco on it. And uh, that was pretty right. cool. Did someone make that for you? Is that something you made or? Yeah. Uh, Stasia Pine um, designed, made the design yeah. for that, for a sticker. And I, I just went all the way. I said, oh, hell, let's just do a shirt. <laughs> so Tara uh, Hackett helped me and got shirts made and everything. And Nice. And uh, gave that out to a bunch of people, and and uh, we all wore them to that show, and it was fun. Oh, so it so. was like the whole the whole Gans and the uh, purple bandana thing, which was your your doing. Uh, so how many shirts did did you? No, hand out? Well, not as many as the bandanas. I'm sure um, we had about thirty. We had about thirty shirts uh, made up. So yeah, no, the bandana was only my. I was only the face of that. That was uh, Katie Harmon and Crystal Brown. Okay. came up with that idea and the purple and the whole nine yards. So they were behind it all. I just, you know, me, I'm not bashful. So I just put myself out there and, and uh, took, took charge of the, of the promotion of it. So that's awesome. And I'm not even a marketing person. I'm an accountant. So it's funny. <clears throat> you're, you're an accountant. Ah, so that explains how yes. <laughs> you get yourself to so many shows. You're, you're good with your money. <laughs> I've yeah. often wondered well, as, I sit and watch you go to 8 million concerts a year. How do you <laughs> afford to do that? But you're just I'm good at spending money. my money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just good at spending it, not saving it. So, but that's okay. You only live once. That's, that's so. exactly, <laughs> I, I totally agree. And when it comes to the Avids, I mean, that's worth it. And you, you've gone to see so many other folks, like you've seen you two recently, you went out to, to Vegas, right? That was very cool. Yeah. Tell me about that because I'm was very going cool. to Vegas uh, December 1st. I'm going out there. It's my first time ever there. I'm going for work, so I'm not going to have a ton of time to do. Oh, okay. Stuff. But uh, I'm excited to see the sphere, to that the sphere, sphere, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah. Can you just go in that, or do you have to go to a concert to be able to see inside of it? Because I kind of want to go in. No, you have to either go to the concert or you. Or you can buy a ticket to the movie that they made for it. It's called Postcards from Earth, oh, which okay. wasn't in operation yet when um, uh, when we were there. It started like uh, the beginning of October. So it's it's one of those like 4D experience movies. And uh, uh, I've seen some reviews that people say it's better than like the IMAX at Disney, if you've seen any of those. Sure, yeah. That's so, what I was thinking. It'd be like an IMAX movie when you mention it because it's in, yeah. the, in the ball. Like yeah, it has like the the smell and the movement and all that, but they don't do that for the concert. <laughs> they should. That's a good idea. But it was a, what, what kind of smells yeah. would they have for a concert though? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> warm, warm and fuzzy. No, it was the, the sound system is like 167,000 speakers and it's, the sound is amazing for a concert. Now, and are you a big U2 fan? U2 was uh, the right band. no, I mean, I liked them, but you know, I always said, "Oh, I need to go see you too." And yeah. and this just happened to coincide with opening there, so I just made it made it work. And there were there were quite a few of us there, uh, uh, favorites, avid friends. <laughs> so we made a whole weekend of it. So you were you were actually there for the opening weekend of their that was like their first show there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we went for the first show. <laughs> that's awesome. So that I said, was... if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the beginning. Right, go all the way. That that's pretty cool. So, did they give you anything special for that being the first show there? Or, I'm sure you would have had to pay for it. No, no, no special. No, there was nothing special. We didn't, we didn't do a, we didn't do a VIP or anything like that. We just, we did a travel package, so we stayed right there on property at the 
palazzo or the venetian okay. and that's where the sphere is it's part of the venetian we're staying <clears> at so it's a good location uh, we're staying at the golden nugget over on fremont street uh okay i'm not, I'm not sure what's around there or anything i like i said i've never been to vegas before if it's even close to the sphere but i'm sure it's all kind of close to each other there right it's not too far away it's a it's a few it's a few miles Oh, Fremont Street is very cool. It just just to go and people watch. There's yeah. it's a lot of restaurants there yeah, and they they just revamped it because that was the old Vegas. Right. And uh, uh, well, yeah, you'll have to go say hi to the the horseshoe because that's part of our our um, our company that that kind of owns the company that I work for. OK, the guy that used to own the horseshoe is our financier. <laughs> so what's so, the horseshoe? Uh, is that one yeah. of the hotels? So I sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Binion's Horseshoe was uh, one of the big casinos there. One oh, of the old okay. casinos. Yeah, I am so. I'm, so but it's, I'm not it, up on my Vegas at all. <laughs> I need to do some research, I think, before I go. Yeah, you got to get up a little bit on your. Yeah, you got to do a little bit of research. So I, I've anyway. been out there a few times for work and uh, one time to go see Aerosmith, their opening of their residency out there, too. That's cool. They probably so. use the cables that I sell because. Uh, for many, many years, we supplied them all their instrument cables that they use. Joe Perry uh, had oh, okay. personalized. We would personalize all of his cables for him. That's a, that's one of our claims. Yeah, to we're miss, we're we're sad we're missing out on. We were supposed to next week. No week the week after thank uh, the week after Halloween. I was supposed to go to oh, Dallas to see them. Yeah. So now happening. I don't know when that'll be. Mm. I wonder I if we're going to reschedule all these shows because I who knows when Steven Tyler will be able to even sing again from if and if like. and when if and when right that's so, scary but, I know I know so well hopefully they so. reschedule for you all right so anyway back back on yeah. track here back to the Avid brothers um it's kind of what we focus here on this show <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you've been to yeah. how many <laughs> and beyond shows over the years what have you what's your number up to right now. I'm up to um, 128. Oh, that's all. So <laughs> I just I just went. That's all. Yeah, only that's all. In in less basically, um, that's really mostly over six years. So <laughs> I've gone all in. All right. How many shows? We we already talked about this the first time we tried recording it, but no one else heard it. So how many shows have you been to just this year in 2023? It, this year I've been to 31 shows That's and insane. it'll be 32 with New Year's. That's insane. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I, I love it. Like you said, you only I live turned, once. You only right. live once. I turn my vacation requests and my, bo my boss will say, oh, okay, well, we know when the Avid Brothers are playing. <laughs> Gets it. Do people think it's you're really crazy? Because people think I'm crazy and I've only been to two shows. <laughs> well, some of the people like that I've worked with like that have known me for a really long time so yeah they, they knew me even before the Avid brothers so they knew what i was like <laughs> <laughs> now but, had, but they, had, they get go on they get it yeah. i think they get it That's you know cool. well if yeah. they, i mean if they take the time so. to get to know the band and the people they are mm -hmm. and the family and just all the other fans how everyone's yeah. a big family i think they would understand it and maybe even want to be a part of it uh because it's such a cool yeah. place it's such a cool place i've gotten to meet you a couple times in person actually you know uh at the two shows i've of course you're at the shows that i've been to because you go to all the shows <laughs> <laughs> but uh it's it's been fun because i have them. i have the bracelets that you made and my kids have the bracelets that you made from the last time at least uh I, no kylie had the other yeah. one we, we yeah she met you both times yeah kylie um, was at the one with you in uh um Cooperstown. Uh, Cooperstown. Yep, that was my Home first gang, one. Yeah, that was my first one, and then yeah. Lafayette was my second one. And you've been to thirty-one yeah. shows this year. Uh, that that blows my mind. Just this uh, year, yeah. Has anyone else yeah. been to more shows than you this year? I wonder. Is anyone else right on your on your tail there for shows? Who? No. More than thirty. Eileen. <laughs> really? I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her out. Eileen Sweeney. I'm sure she's yeah she's been to more shows than me but you know she's got the advantage of of having the being a retired flight attendant so uh -huh. she can just kind of hop on a plane and go is that one of the perks and she's retired and I'm not retired at all 
<laughs> All right, but th that's one of the perks of being a retired yeah. flight attendant. You get to but fly you... whenever you want. It's it's not always free. There's there's oh. a lot of different. I've sat with her and she does different levels of of. Um, but yeah, I mean, if if you can figure out a flight that you can get on, you can do it for free. Yeah. Now, does that, she, that is part of the perks. Does she ever get of, you deals? Uh, no. No? Oh. We, don't, <laughs> we just meet. No, but, you know, I go to enough shows and I, I do enough stuff that uh, I have a couple reward cards. And so I get a lot of I get a lot of reward flights. I'm, and I'm, sure uh, I'm I, I always say my, my uh, uh, benefit of being in Houston is that we have two large airports with just about every airline you can think of. So if you want to go anywhere in the world, it's easy to get there from here. Yeah, that's so, that's that's and one it's of very the main centrally parts. centrally located. Uh oh, hmm? we're, we're getting yeah. the play back again there. between us here. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the internet. Okay, let me check my. You didn't turn off your internet, did you? No, you <laughs> you couldn't have. Um, no, my internet my internet's working good. Yeah, I'm sure it's my computer. Uh -oh. I, it's been I just acting lost up you. today. Uh oh, I can hear you still. I can see you still. I, I know I can't see you. How do I do that? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. You're not missing. Oh, it's anything. in a different. I know what it is. It's in a, it's in a different window. Ah, I'm in a different. You know, window right here. Hello. <laughs> I'm slightly technologically challenged sometimes. That's that's quite all right. Uh, so am I. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> what other bands have you seen? Ha is there any other band that you've seen as often as the Avid Brothers? I mean, that'd be no quite a stretch to no. Not at all. You constantly not even close. <laughs> Who's the second most you've seen? Yeah, I'd be on the road all the time. No, <laughs> no. My 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 favorite artist all, of all time was Tom Petty, oh. and um, I, you know, I never thought to like travel other places. I've seen him in different cities, yeah. but only because I lived there. Um, <clears throat> but I never thought to travel to do that. It just wasn't. And a lot a lot of times, they, you know, those guys will do a tour for an album, and it'll be the same show. Right. You know, maybe sure. they'll change up a song or two. So it's not it's not quite the same. I and uh, but, but I, I believe I believe my second um, most concert or band that I've seen, not by choice. Oh, no. And Michael Gans was at their show last night. Is Lake Street Lake Street Dive? <laughs> I see. I like Lake Street Dive. One year I saw them ten times. <laughs> Well, not, not if you, well, I've seen them 10 times in a row, like not by choice in the same set list. Um, oh. And I'm not saying they're bad. It's just that I don't enjoy them anymore. Um, uh, 10 times in one summer. <laughs> yeah, that That is a lot. So, that is a lot. So where were you yeah. and what it, are your memories from the first time you saw or heard even the Avid Brothers? Like the first song you ever heard, where were you? And did you know that, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be hooked once once you heard them? Tell me about that. No, I, I, no, I, I, I've told this story, of course, many times to lots of people that I've met, but I'd never heard of the Avery Brothers at all. I mean, maybe I'd heard a song of theirs, but I didn't know it. So our story was that for my daughter's 18th birthday and high school graduation, I wanted to buy her tickets to see the Rolling Stones she really wanted to go and I had never seen them either so th the way it all worked out was we couldn't go to the Dallas show because it was the weekend of the graduation so I looked across the country of what fit our schedule and I said oh this show in Raleigh fits our schedule because then we can drive to our regular Delaware vacation afterwards and we go every summer and it was right right before the fourth of July so we go to um the football stadium there and, and NC State in Raleigh and this band comes on and <clears throat> they were good and then they did kick drum heart and everybody was clapping and my daughter and I looked at each other like what is this who are these people and then the murder in the city they only did 10 songs that to open mm -hmm. and they were opening for the Rolling Stones so how cool is that wow, yeah. but um they did murder wow, in the city yeah. with Scott and Seth on the stage, really? really, which I don't think I've seen really? since. Really? Yeah, both of the them only, are on there. I've seen when they did the Prairie Home Companion show. Well, I'm getting some feedback now. 
uh that was the only time i've seen them sing it together so yeah. you actually saw them in person sing it together that's pretty cool yeah so and i had I, I didn't know what i was seeing i had no idea and um that one was the song that hooked me yeah and then uh, you know so I, it was great that i discovered this with my daughter and then we went up to i don't know for the next uh four years we went to shows together you know, like 30 something, 40 something shows together. Then she had to got out of college and had to get a real job and didn't have much vacation. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I, that's how I so. feel. Um, how, uh, how many shows has she been to without you or with you, with or without you? <clears throat> She's only been to one show without me. And that was one that somebody gave her, a, 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 Justin and Tiffany gave her a wristband to a, a, a festival in Dallas. Yeah. that she went to with an old old boyfriend um but she's she hasn't made 50 yet but she's in the high 40s and so cool. and so she's she goes she's, when she can she's as hooked as you are except you've been to way more shows than she has only because she had to get a real job <laughs> i like that yeah um, yeah when when yeah when she got a real job and and really started working in in the after we went to Red Rocks in 2019, then things took off for me because, you know, I could just do whatever I wanted to do. <laughs> That's great. And uh, so I did. And so I traveled a lot. And I've been to a lot of different places and places that I would have ne probably never thought to go to uh, without going to see the band. Yeah, like this last run you went on where yeah. you guys were driving all over the like what was it the pacific northwest and beyond you guys were all over the place driving from texas tell, tell me about that whole experience because yeah i watched it uh on facebook basically the pictures oh we didn't drive posted. we didn't i'm sorry go on yeah we didn't drive from texas we started out in red rocks oh and okay. then eileen and i flew to salt lake city and picked up the car ah. and uh and drove um we drove to Jackson, Wyoming. We did, we did, we did the Grand Tetons and Yellowstone in about three quarters of a day. Oh wow! <laughs> so I know I want to go back there, uh, but we were in Montana. We were sorry, the dogs barking. That's we okay. were in Idaho. We were in Washington, Oregon. Where did we go from there? Uh, we ended up in Salt Lake City again. So we were in like six states. We had six shows in I think four or five states and plus we went through Wyoming, which neither I don't think either one of us had ever been to Wyoming. So that was cool. That is that is pretty cool that uh just because yeah. of this this little band from North Carolina, you got to see a huge chunk of the country. Yeah. And you've seen a, how many states have yes. you been to to see them? What's the number up to now? Thir uh when I added Mississippi two weeks ago, I'm up to thirty six. Just to see the Avid so, brothers. 36 states just to see the avid brothers yeah that is cool yeah that is really and cool. i think as far as states go i think i'm only missing six anyway like just regular for, states just you know, for regular for travel lifetime not for, not for avid travel. yeah <laughs> yeah so what and somebody I... asked me just uh just this year i think i will have been in 26 states just you know Avid, non avid driving through, whatever. <laughs> Just that's, this that's, year. That's nuts. You should get some like frequent so, yeah. flyer miles or driver miles or something, a bonus. The Avids should pay you something yeah. <laughs> for, you know, to thank you for traveling around the whole country to see them. Uh, <laughs> don't count on that happening, but you never know. Um, it would be, it would be nice, but <laughs> you're so no, I'm not money. counting on it. I just, I just didn't, just did yeah, gas money. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just the enjoyment of going to the show and seeing all my friends. And I've gotten a couple of set lists this year. So that was a, a nice thing. That, that and, is uh, always cool. Now, so, what uh, what's your opinion getting... on the way the set lists have been going this year? Now, you've seen so many shows. There's so many people, I, I don't want to say complaining, but they are. I mean, there's people complaining about the non-variety of songs. Um, what, what's your thought on that whole situation? Well, at one point in time, when I took off and saw, started seeing a lot of shows, I did complain. And my daughter said, don't complain, because some of us don't 
people go to a show. Right. And I, I sit back and I think about that. So I, I try not to be too too critical of it, you know, and and for whatever reason they play what they want to play and I'm just happy to be there. You know, and I've gotten some good nuggets yeah. and I've, I've gotten to see some good bands and, uh, you know, like open for them or, you know, at a, a festival or whatever. I get to, got to see Willie five nights this year. So, that's you know, cool. that's a blessing right yep. there. Yeah, that, yeah, you have the same viewpoint I do. I'm just, if I'm at a show now, I, I'm not as, as many shows as you, but uh, I'm just happy to be there because that's like a happy place and they can play whatever yeah. they want and I'll be fine with it. Uh, I get it that exactly. it's repetitive, some of them, and people are upset that No Hard Feelings always closes the show. I love that. I love that it closes the shows because it means something to them. I love that song too. I mean, I, you know, I don't go out of my way to listen to it or anything like that, but I think it's a perfect ending, you know? It is. They, so. they, I always say this on the show, but that's the song they choose to send you home with. It's there for a reason. It's a message that they're sending to the, the people at the show. That gives me goosebumps when I think of that because it means so much to them. Yeah. That's what they want to yeah. send you home with, that, that song. The thing that I think is funny, though, is a lot of times I've seen them go from um, – talk on indolence or slight figure of speech right into no hard feelings. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that just that's... cracks me up. I'm like, you're just like this intense song where you're like banging your head and then all of a sudden, oh. <laughs> Yeah, we're back to the death topic <laughs> and all that. Uh, yeah. that. That is funny. But uh, again, I, I'm not going to complain about anything. If I'm at a show, I'm super happy to be there and uh, love whatever they do. I hope that album is coming uh, the new album. It'd be nice to have some new. Oh, songs. I know. Um, not not that they'll play them live because they really didn't play the, the last album at all live. Uh, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, that's that's all their choice. All right, so you picked the music for the episode, and you picked yeah. a lot of music. I don't I don't know that I'm gonna have time to get it to all of it. Oh, I I just I wanted to give you lots of choices. Oh, no, so, that's awesome. You but know, I, what I, I'll, I'll do is like what I yeah. do with Colleen Hoover. I'll make like a a playlist on YouTube of all the songs and I'll just share it and people can go and listen to the songs. You've got a great selection of music here. Let's start with, we always pick three Avid songs and I try to get three non Avid songs. So tell me your Avid songs first. I know you sent me, you you like sent me an amazing list that has like a description of each song. And I, normally I just get song title and artist and that's it. And then we talk about it. But you you already described everything for me. So tell me about uh, Avid oh, Song yeah. One. Do you have your list in front of you, first of all? I, I got it up here. Is it in your? <laughs> wow, you're good if you can remember all yeah. that. All right. So let's um, let's talk about your Avid Songs that you picked. Well, I just sent it to you today. If I, if I sleep on it and tomorrow, I won't be able to tell it to you. Well, <laughs> I gave you uh, Down With The Shine, yep. which was the first song that they opened with at that show, that first show that we went to. So whenever I hear that, I'm all, I always think a special. I'm like, that's what started it for us. That is um, special. That's cool. I, like I that. picked uh, "Talk on Indolence" because that's the do that's the song that my daughter and I like like to sit there and sing to each other when it comes on and and rock out. Now you made me forget what the songs are. Oh, number, <laughs> what are the other two songs. I give you number two was the "Once in Future Carpenter." Oh, what's the future carpenter? I just love that song. I, you know, it, it uh, uh, if I live the life I'm given, I won't be scared to die. I mean, yeah. you know, that's you just put that on my forehead, you know, yeah, right? So, yeah, they're, and they're, then they're what was are so amazing. Uh, and the, and, yeah, uh, the next one you picked was a good one for you because you do this a lot. <laughs> Oh, the traveling song. Yeah, there you go. I picked that one just because I, I thought that was so appropriate. It was so funny. It's always fun when they play it. You know, there's several songs like that in the fall that come on that are just uh, or go to sleep. They're just fun songs to to sit there and listen to, <clears throat> and to hear their their interaction and and all that. So, how many times have you yeah. gotten that one live, traveling song? Because they don't play that one very often, do they? Or not anymore, at least. Yeah, I don't know how many times I I don't know how many times I've gotten it, but I've I've gotten it a few songs. But it's been a while. I know it's been a while since I've heard it. Yeah, I mean, when so. you go to 131 or 128 show, whatever your number you're at, you you get some of the oldies in there <laughs> that they don't really play anymore. Uh, yeah. All I've right. Gotten, so, a few, gotten a few of them in there. That that's great. All right. So non Avid songs. I know you mentioned Tom Petty is your number one guy. Tom uh, Petty. So what what yeah. songs did you you pick? Number one me? guy. 
we got some good ones here. I, I mean, I could have picked, I could have picked a million songs, but right. I got to thinking about it and I picked a uh, thing about you. Cause it's one that we used to rock out to in college. And um, I went to Purdue boiler up oh, nice. and uh, uh, that one, when we would play it at our parties and stuff, I would do air guitar. And then I would like do this big split jump off the bed. So <laughs> that was, that was so cool. But the other one was um, the other one I picked was you wreck me, which I love that song. Is from uh, from Wildflowers, and so I got to see that song live again with Mike Campbell and the Dirty Knobs in Mississippi and Alabama. And I can't remember if they played it two or three nights, but the first night they played it, I wasn't sure if he was gonna play it, and of course, then I was like, "Ooh!" I was all weepy because it reminded me of Tom. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, but it was so good. That that is cool. So now that was that my. That's one of my musical regrets is not getting to see Tom Petty live. And he came, I lived, I grew up in Syracuse, New York, and uh, he came to Syracuse twice and I didn't go either time. And oh. it's like, what? And then I think it was like the next year that he passed away. I'm like, yeah. I just kicked myself. Like, how did I not go to see him? He was, it was yeah. like John Mellencamp, Bob Dylan and Tom Petty together. And like, oh, wow how how did i not go see that <laughs> in my own backyard i i still can't fathom how i didn't do that i've but. had two of those three i haven't seen john mellicamp um yeah we saw tom petty on the um that final tour when he came through here to houston yeah. and i got some of my neighbors to go so we rented a limo nice. and uh, i think there was like 10 of us in the limo and my daughter and some of her friends and some of the couples on the street and uh we had a good time yeah <laughs> Did you air guitar and do a, a split jump off the limo or anything like that? No, no, but you know, almost. Yeah, <laughs> almost. I just, I just if you ever see my daughter, ask her about that show, and she'll have a lot to say about that. I was, I was not very well behaved. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, interesting. But it was, I had so much fun. I don't care, right? you know. <laughs> she'll you said laugh. it earlier. She'll laugh. You she'll only live once. She, she'll, <laughs> she'll listen to this and she'll laugh. She'll know exactly what I mean. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else did you pick? I see some Counting Crows. Counting Crows. I love, I've love. i always loved Counting Crows. I started listening to them a long time ago. And I just saw them in uh, August here. And they're, they're not everybody's cup of tea live. I know a uh, fellow right. Avit fan, Carol Hines is a big fan too. They're just, they're just different live, but they were so good this year. Um, the songs I picked were, um, I like Rain King and, and just everything off that debut album. I love um, that album. That's one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah, that's that's in my top five. Uh, Omaha and Round Here are just the three that I love. And of course, Mr. Jones is always a good one too. Great, I didn't man. put that on my list, but it's it's too long. <clears throat> so yeah, that was my Counting Crows, and I I really I had a good time at that show. Uh, so this will be August. a nice playlist that I put together. Uh, we're only going to yeah. probably like four song, four or five songs. Yeah, probably. The episode. Probably. But and then um, oh, yeah, at the we'll same time I was. When I was listening to Counting Crows, I started listening to Hootie and the Blowfish. That had to be in the 90s. It was. And um, I love that. Crack Review, that's in my top five albums, too. Can, and, can I uh, make a confession? Yeah. That album, I had it on CD back and I was, it had to be like when I was a senior in high school. Maybe it was after I graduated high school. Mm -hmm. I wore that out. I loved that. Yeah. CD. I got made fun of yeah. for liking Hootie and the Blowfish so much, <laughs> but I love that I had album. had that CD, too. I, I think I only got a chance to see them one time, though. It was in uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale. I lived in Fort Lauderdale, and I think I saw them in Miami. And then I went to see Darius Rucker. Well, I went to see when they reincarnated, um, what, three uh, three or four years ago. And um, that was so good. Yeah. That's cool. So, yeah. I, I And, well, and then the last one, Bruce Springsteen. You're a big Springsteen, Springsteen yeah. Fan. So I, I haven't listened to Springsteen a lot in later years yeah but I, I put it on the list because that was my first concert ever with springsteen in college in 1980 in chicago and uh that they just opened the river tour like that month and it was amazing so and I've, i saw him a couple three times there in the 80s and then didn't see him again and then i saw him again back on valentine's day and uh he really he still he still rocks out he does he so. sure does um now <laughs> I'm just reading what you wrote to me here and said, so you didn't behave at that first concert either. It sounds like. <laughs> oh no, I did not. No, I was in college. Are you kidding me? I was a college freshman. 
Oh boy. Yeah. So, so yeah. Purdue, Purdue, you got some Purdue stories, I'm sure, but we'll have to do <laughs> that another time because we're running out of time here. Yes. Yes. I do. I do have to say though, some of the uh, friends that I met my freshman year, my second semester that we all lived together, a bunch of us girls, there are six of us that are still friends 42 years later that is and we still nice. get together. We try to get together once a year, maybe once every other year. Do you go and, to concerts and stuff or? No, we don't. We haven't been to any concerts. No, no. They, they, they're, they're amazed by my uh, Avid uh, uh, <laughs> fandom. They, they are. They're always like, well, we'll do a group text, and they'll be like, I'll be like, oh, you guys caught me, and they'll be like, Lizard, where are you now? Oh, I'm at an Avid Brothers show. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an easy guess, though. If you're, if you're not home, that you're probably yeah. at an Avid show <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, they laugh. They laugh. It's they think it's really funny. They they say all kinds of funny things to me about it. My college nickname, though, was Lizard. So everybody here knows me as Tabasco, but uh, everybody else calls me Lizard. So. so I'll call you Lizard, too, if you want. I don't know. That's. Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. Just just don't call me late for dinner. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I think every I know two other Liz's that I work with, and they're, they call them Lizard, too. So I think it's just a, a Liz nickname that yeah. happens. It's yeah, that came, that came on in high school, but really grew in college. I even have people that I work with that call me that, that I've, I have a couple of people I've worked with for over 20 years at a couple of different companies. And uh, they, they still call me that too. Oh, but <laughs> so that's, just, fine. that's funny. Thinking back though, that that's cool that you still get together with your college friends and all these oh, years yeah. later that you're still it's very special close with them. Uh, Cause it seems like a lot of people like after high school, especially, or even after college, you lose touch, but there, there's really no excuse for that anymore with no social media and technology the way it is and that's great that you still have those close friends all those all I, these I years still, later i still try to see a few high school friends like once in a while well, i want to go up to delaware because a lot of them still live in delaware and pennsylvania and everything right in that area is very close so you know there's a there's a couple of people that i still try to see so is that where or, you grew up up there yeah i'm from wilmington delaware oh okay yeah right, so you're a northeast yeah. girl i didn't know that <clears throat> yeah i did not know that mm -hmm. so you're not really uh I, a Houston. I'm, uh, I'm not a Texan, not really. Not a Texan, even though you're <laughs> an Astros fan. I'm not going to mention. Proximity. I'm not going to mention the Astros. Oh, I. I I'm being nice. <laughs> Jack said you probably would. <laughs> I'm not going to. I, I'm not they, even going to say anything about it to Jack. It's okay. They just. They hey, just the Yankees were awful this year, so I can't say anything. They just fizzled, <laughs> but also the Phillies fizzled too. So the Phillies are my are my home team, original home team. And I was rooting for them last night too, and they just fizzled out. I was shocked that they, the last two games, they just didn't have it. I did. They lost all yeah. their swagger in those last two games. That yeah. Arizona team is really good, though. They are young, and they are just they yeah their stride at the right time. And yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do Texas the same way. The Rangers and the Diamondbacks are the two hottest teams right now, and here they are in the World Series. So, Aren't they both wildcard teams, too? They are. They are. I, so they that's crazy. Fewest wins combined for two World Series teams in the history of baseball. <laughs> and that's, that's crazy. I think the Diamondbacks won like 84 games this year. Uh, but Yeah. Hey, but now I don't. At the right time. It's all that matters. I'm done. I don't have to watch any more baseball, though, because <laughs> I really don't care which team wins. <laughs> yeah, I'll still watch because I just love it, but uh, – I, yeah, I don't care which team wins at this point. I'm not going to yeah. say anything about the Astros. That's I promised I wouldn't. No. I'm not going to say anything about the Astros. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Well, well my daughter, my do my son-in-law is a big Rangers fan because he grew up in Dallas oh, okay. and they live up in the Dallas area. Oh, so he's so got he's, he's, he's a Rangers fan. He's a, a unfortunately, he's a Cowboys fan, Michael Gans. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I really give him a hard time about that. And my, but get this. So having grown up in the Northeast, my dad was a huge Eagles fan. Okay. So my daughter became an Eagles fan when she was young. And so, you know, they live in a true house, NFC East house divided. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I, is really funny. Yeah. I'm a, I guess you can call me a Bills fan. I'm not, I, I've never, the NFL has never done it for me. I don't know why. I've never had a team like I, I I'm a fan of the Yankees and that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we are out of time. Uh, I really, okay. sorry. I thank you for sticking with me with the technical issues. That was uh, interesting. I know I need to get my internet checked out too. This is, I really the... don't think it's you. I think it's my computer for some reason. I don't okay. think it's you at all. Cause uh, I've been having issues since I turned my computer on tonight. So, oh, well, okay. What are you going to do? Uh, this was fun talking. I would love to yeah, do it again sometime. 
Uh, well, hopefully I'll get this. Hopefully I'll get to see you in uh, in the spring. Maybe they'll be back at Oma Gang. Yeah. Well, if they ever announce any shows, that would be nice. <laughs> they will. I'm sure they. Oh, they, they have. Yeah, to. I have. I have like two things on my calendar for next year, and that just I'm like going crazy. You know, yeah. I'm going to go back to see you too, because uh, they added shows. I'm going back in February, and then uh, Avis at the beach. Beach, so that's all I got. Oh, so you're you're of course you're going to the beach. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah. Of course you're going to that. Well, that's that's just a fun time. That's you know yeah, just to go I, to. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Go to Mexico and just have a good time. Well, they better be at Oma Gang because I will be there. Um, with your bracelets on. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll make wristbands for sure. Awesome. Anybody going to New Year's Eve? I'll I'll. I haven't thought about what I'm gonna do, but I'll do a wristband. I always do. I always do. That's like your thing, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's my thing. It's I fun. Know. All right. Well, Liz, thank you so much for coming on. We'll see you down the road. Safe travels wherever you're heading to. Uh, and uh, this was uh, this was great. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's fun. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs> bye bye. Goodbye. Okay,